Hey, Mark Rice here, and today I will show you how to draw very simple plant illustrations. It will be easy, like always. So first, I will pick up the pink color from the Gigantic Master Colors version 2. Okay. Hit M on the keyboard and draw the lower part of the illustration, something like this. Okay, I like it. Copy it, Ctrl C and paste in place with Ctrl plus F. Okay, move it here, increase the size a bit, align to the center. Okay, now I will copy it one more time for the shadow and change the size as well. Okay, here these corners will be rounded and these as well. Okay, so basically that's it for this part. And maybe I can boost it a bit if I add gigantic patterns. So here I'll copy it one of my patterns. Let me check, maybe this one. Okay. Beautiful, change the size and I will pick up this color. Okay, now go into swatches move it here, delete this one, copy this part, Control c paste in place with Control plus F and pick up the pattern. Oh, aha, look at this, it's beautiful. And I will do the same for this part. Okay, so now I can start with the plant. And if you want to download my patterns, check out the link in the video description. Okay, I will group the shapes, Control plus G, and here I will draw the rectangle. Okay. Send to back. Copy it for the shadow. And decrease the size. So the shadow will be darker, of course. Okay, that's it. And now it will be cool if I add a few details here. So I will show you my little trick. Okay. First, hit M on the keyboard and draw the square, okay? Rotate it by 45 degrees, okay? Then hold Alt, then Shift and move it here. So I just copied the first shape and I will repeat the process with Ctrl plus D a few times. Something like this. Group all the shapes, go into Pathfinder and use Unite. Okay, beautiful. Then here I will swap fill and stroke. Whoop. Okay, change the stroke size, something like this. 50. Okay. And delete these points here, the lower points. Okay, something like this. Now select all the points and you can round at these corners. And one more detail, here I want to round cup. So go here into the stroke and hit that round cup. Pa. Okay, beautiful. Go into object path. And here with outline stroke, you can cover the outline to the object. Okay, use lighter color for it. Rotate it by 19 degrees and change the size. Okay. Something like this. Okay, now I can copy it a few times. And repeat the process with Ctrl plus D. Group all the shapes. Send to back. And copy it with Ctrl plus C. And paste in place with Ctrl plus F. Like always. Okay, here will be the second one. Let me check. Okay, I like it. And it will be richer if I add one more plant in the background and maybe here something like a desk. So, I will do that right now. Now it's stable and I like it. Okay, and the next movement is the plant in the background. So for that I will need the rounded rectangle. Okay, and here I will draw one more rectangle. It will be rounded as well. Align these shapes and copy this part. I will need it later. Okay. Then group these shapes with Ctrl plus G 
copy it, rotate it by 90 degrees and move it here okay let me check this part it's okay for this illustration usually i'm so precise here but for this illustration it's totally fine group it with ctrl plus g and rotate it cool copy it one more time then i'll move this shape here and and select these points and move it here okay Send to back and move it here. And that's it.